guys, how are you? Welcome back to another video. Um, if you're new, hi, welcome. Um, my name is Vimsi. I am a biomedical scientist and I'm currently doing a PhD on cancer research. And yeah, meanwhile I do that uh, PhD, I try to help uh, people to live the healthy life that they want. So I mainly focus on the topics anti-cancer, lifestyle, womb health, keto diet and self-love because I just think they're very important. Yeah, sorry if you're seeing me a bit low energy in this video, but um, in this video I want to talk about of how important it is to take care of yourself more. Um, it's not really talk to you about this topic, but just like show you a personal experience, a personal journey that I'm going through right now and just like set myself as an example as what you shouldn't do. <laughs> so uh, my arm hurts really bad. Um, it's here. It's like right this point right here. I am not sure. I think I might have mentioned it in a previous video. I got hurt months ago. Like I honestly don't remember when it was. And I just delayed taking care of it because if you watched the massive planning for 2022, I'm so sorry I'm very slow today. Um if you watched the video of massive planning for 2022, you know that um last year I really didn't take myself, didn't take care of myself as I believe you should and I was like focusing just on my PhD and leaving myself behind so I think I just like don't even know when my arm started hurting and of course it's not my arm, like right now it's my arm but how it started it was on the neck so it was it started like here it goes all the way here and this uh pain is so intense that it makes my arm uh you know when uh, when you have like piece of needles right uh that same feeling i had in my arm and in my hand but now it doesn't hurt though if you touch it's like really really tense and hard um it's just here right now that I'm feeling like right in this spot is where I'm feeling like it's like if something was like pinching and going deeper every single time it's like really really hard so for instance okay now I can move it all the way up but if I have something heavy in my hand I, I can't not like grabbing the kettle before it that was painful and I was like shit no, I shouldn't use this arm right now but yeah and also this movement yeah, right here, like when you take, you know, like a jumper off, this movement really hurts, like I cannot go all the way and sometimes I just need to ask my boyfriend to <laughs> help me. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take you with me in this journey of um, seeing what's happening with my arm. Um, so in Christmas I went to an uh, osteopath and she said that basically that it could have been worse if I hadn't kept on going to yoga and if I hadn't kept on moving my arm. So apparently moving my arm <laughs> is a good thing even though it hurts. Uh, she said that the majority of people what they do is to stop moving their arms or whatever part of their body hurts in the muscle and that just get the muscle worse. I don't know, I am a biomedical scientist but my knowledge in the muscle area is like yeah, no, none. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I'm, I'm learning, and um, so yeah, I'm just going to see. Uh, I think it has gotten to the point where I need to go to a doctor. Like, I just need to go to a doctor and see what's happening. Um, I talked to a friend of mine. She's also a, a biomedical scientist, and she said that the same, exact the same thing happened to her. Um, when we're in the laboratory, we're using. I mean, you know, the hand that you use in my case is uh, the right one. And we have a constant movement when we're pipetting, you know? I don't know why I'm doing that, I shouldn't be doing that. So when we're pipetting, it's like a constant movement and sometimes that can tire uh, your muscles. So her doctor said her pain in the arm and the reason why she couldn't move it was because of that pipetting movement. And I was like, wait, could that actually be the reason why? Because when I realized that it was hurting, it was when I was carrying uh, my work bag and I was carrying it from this shoulder 
and it was very very heavy because I always carry um, you know my wallet my iPad and my my food so it is heavy and I was always carrying it on one side and you know when I carry it for it not to um, fall I would put my hand on you know the the string of the bag and pull even harder so I was like just like putting the, the weight of my arm on my shoulder so I think that was when I like realized and I was complaining a lot about how much it, my like, shoulder uh, was hurting so I changed bags and I now wear a satchel so that the weight is like even and I try not to um, take a lot of weight so it's just iPad and food and wallet but before I, I remember I was taking a lot more things like my big headphones I left them there in the office like I'm not gonna carry them every day I would also carry a bottle of water full I just bought a bottle of water to live there on the in the office. It was just a lot of weight, so I'm just trying to be more conscious about the what I really need to take in the back. Uh, so yeah, that's what's happening. And uh, so yeah, I'm just going to take you through my day. And I'm just like, I have been in massive pain since Tuesday, and I really wanted to take advantage of this week because I don't have any experiments to do. So I really wanted to study, but. The pain in my arm is making me so, so, so incredible, incredibly tired. And yesterday I was feeling like uh, nausea, like I wanted to vomit. I, I actually had to go upstairs and lay in my bed and put the heating pad because I was like, uh, I don't know how to, how to describe it, but the feeling was so weird. And like I wouldn't, I had never ever experienced pain that would make my stomach feel, you know, yeah, weird. The ideal for me right now would be not to do anything, but I really want to study. So, uh, this is just an advice that I have for you guys. Whenever I'm feeling like sick or I just got up the wrong way, you know, when you have a bad day, I think you should have like a routine plan for those days. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it happened to you. I mean, it has happened to me several times throughout my life. But whenever I get up like sick or just with the wrong food, uh, my day goes different and I'm not as productive or efficient. Uh, most of the times I just don't do anything. I just lay on the sofa or in my bed hiding from the world underneath my blanket watching Netflix or whatever it is that I feel like watching. So yeah, but with the years, <laughs> mainly since I started my PhD, I was like, okay, what about the days that I I am feeling a bit bad, but I could actually do some work. So not massive work, but for example, study, just like reading, reading articles, like it can be a relaxing thing to do. You don't have to be like on the chair, very, very focused, but you can just like be reading. Or for example, now that I'm doing an online course, it's mainly video, so you can actually like do that. So for those kind of days, I just try to I have created a routine, you know, that it's the day goes way slower um, and I take care of myself and I accept that I that day I am in, you know, a weird mood and not feeling great so I just, you know, do little things which I normally do every single day but, um, you know, it's like slower and loving myself more uh, and then when I feel like I'm feeling better then I find a comfy spot and I try to work on the things that I want to work but just like relaxing with no pressure whatsoever uh, however this would have been different if I had experiments like for sure I would have gone to the laboratory do the experiments and then come back quick to be at home and take care of myself but um, yeah I'm also a little bit frustrated that it happened when I wanted to take advantage and study a lot because I don't have experiments right now so anyway I'm trying to deal with that I'm trying to you know be here take care of myself love myself and just don't feel guilty of what it's happening and that my arm is hurting and that it's not letting me do the things that I wanted to it's just like you couldn't know that this could happen Probably if I had taken care of my arm before, that's the lesson, um, maybe this wouldn't be happening right now. But anyway, yeah.
So normally I do fasting every morning. I don't, yeah, I don't eat <laughs> breakfast, but uh, I'm feeling so hungry, so, so hungry. And I'm just like going to listen to my body and gives it give it what it's asking so i'm extremely hungry uh, i don't know why maybe because i'm feeling sick and my body's like i don't know fighting with the arm pain so i'm just going to yeah i'm going to have some yogurt with berries and maybe treat myself a little bit with honey like i did with the coffee Hey guys, so I just discovered that I am worse than I thought and it's not regarding my arm. When I was in college, I had problems with my kidneys uh, for like uh, three consecutive years. So the first one I had uh, kidney stones and then it kind of developed to other things like uh, lithiasis, lithiasis, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, uh, and then pyelonephritis, <laughs> um, which is, you know, the infection of the urinary tract, if I'm not mistaken. I had a lot of damage just, you know, in that part of my body because I, I because of the kidney stones and the infections that would never stop. So uh, my doctor at the time told me that I should never ever hold going to the bathroom, you know, so like whenever I wanted to do pee pee, I just need to go to the bathroom and do it. However, you have circumstances where you have to like hold it for a bit just because situations. So yeah, the day before yesterday, oh, I hold it for a bit, you know, like just a little bit. It was from the moment that I got up, I really needed to go and you know, that entire process of going down the stairs and rushing into the toilet, I, I could I felt how it hurt because when I cannot hold it uh, because of what happened in the past, then it goes back up and that should never happen. So yeah, and yesterday I could feel a little bit of pain in my kidney and I was like, it's okay, I just hold it for a little bit, it shouldn't develop to a urinary infection. And then right now I just saw a tiny little bit of blood when I went to the bathroom and it really burnt. Maybe that's why I was feeling so tired and nausea yesterday and not the, the arm. I'm okay, I'm okay. I don't know why I wanna cry. I'm, I'm okay, but it's just I know how painful it's going to get. Like, it just started and I, I cannot, I don't want to go through that, but um, it's okay. I'm just going to prepare a massive jar of water because this is what I have to do, just like drink a lot of water when this happens and just let it heal. So I'm gonna add a little bit of um, lemon and I'm going to ask my boyfriend because he's at the office working I'm going to ask him to bring some cranberry so that I can make some cranberry juice So yeah, so back to feeling better and taking care of myself. I, I just need to I need to cry I'm just gonna let my body cry It's probably a nonsense. This is not like super serious, but it's just the frustration feeling of like the moment that I had days to dedicated to study. I got ill. What I'm going to do to make myself feel better is um, I'm going to tidy a little bit the house just because uh, Jorge, uh, my boyfriend, he was doing laundry the other day and I was going to uh, help him fold the clothes, but um, yeah, I was feeling really, really bad, so I didn't do it. Then I'm going to do some yin yoga, just because I know yin yoga really stretches your muscles, so it really will help me with my arm. And I'm gonna drink my lemon water to help heal from the urinary infection. And yeah, that's it. And then I'm going to do a little bit of self-care, maybe skin care, maybe a bath, I don't know, something to make me feel better. And if my kidney is not hurting too much, then maybe I can sit for a while and do some studying. But yeah, anyway. I mean, maybe I should go to the doctor or something for the urinary infection. So that I am, it happened so many times to me since what happened with the kidney stones and the other infections years ago that I, I already know what I have to do. So, and I like get the signs so quickly, like 
right now it's not even as bad and I already know how bad it's going to get. I am bleeding and it really hurts. It hurts so much when and I have like a constant sensation of going to the bathroom. I don't know what to do. I feel like I want to lay down but I just know how many times I'm gonna get, get up to go to the bathroom and be in pain. That I, you know, sometimes what I do is just sit there and be there sitting. So I don't have to rush or anything. You know what? I'm just gonna accept that I'm sick. I have an urinary infection and it hurts. It hurts. Whoever has gone through this knows that it hurts so much. It's so painful. You just have to go through it. So I'm just going to make my bathroom cozy. So I'm gonna be there. Hey, so... I need to have an um, antibiotics for my infection because if not I'm at risk of that getting a lot worse. I'm so happy because whenever I leave Spain I live with like all the medicines that I need just because my doctor knows me so he just makes prescriptions for me to be able to carry my medicines here. Okay so it's currently Five past one. I need to take, you know, remember that for the next one. Hey guys, so a little update. My boyfriend is back and he has helped me uh, with the setup. So we put a cable all the way so that, because that, um, how do you say, that plug only works when I switch on the light and I don't want any extra um, energy. So we got that cable so that I can plug uh, the cable for the computer and the cable for the heating pad and then he brought me a chair here and I have some green tea and cranberry juice to help me and it's good because um, I don't know if you can see but it's really 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 sunny and it's entering through the window so uh, at least I have like you know <laughs> some good stuff and also um, I have the heating um, the heating pad and <laughs> my boyfriend just like wrap it with the, the scarf and put a knot here so that I wouldn't keep falling and he grabbed one of our pillows so that I could you know be laying <laughs> back and just like trying to be as comfortable as possible while having to be here the entire time and in pain so I'm very tired I'm a bit better like it's not as painful now but I'm very tired I want to sleep I want to get away from the bathroom but I know I can't because if not I'll just have to come running every single time and it's not gonna help me so I just have to stay here and I'm watching just random movies so I'm feeling a lot better that's good I think you can totally feel it on my face I feel way better it doesn't hurt anymore I'm not bleeding anymore I have drunk tons of liquid I don't know if you heard this probably yes but um cranberry use um, has compounds I don't remember the name exactly right now but it has compounds that help the bacteria not to stay um, stuck in the urinary tract so it really helps with urinary um, infections and also to prevent them I'm not really used to drinking cranberry juice like it's a daily habit but maybe it's something that I should incorporate also I think I read an article about cranberry helping with PMS and period cramps. I don't know, I'm not sure. I will do some digging and see what I can find about that, like the scientific background. Okay, so I'm actually hiding in the bathroom just because my boyfriend is in a meeting call. So I know that whenever I feel sick, like I'm, I mean, normally I'm like super clumsy. So whenever I'm sick, I'm like double or triple clumsy. So I'm pretty sure that if I come outside, I'm just gonna be making noise and I don't wanna do that. So I'm just chilling in the bathroom <laughs> until he's uh, done with the call because if not, I know I'm gonna distract him. So yeah, let's see how I feel, but I really wanna do that yoga 
to make my body feel better. So a small update. I am having some food because I didn't have any the entire day, just the breakfast. So I have some uh, berry infusion and some scrambled eggs and some berries with yogurt and a small treat for the sick lady and my water. I'm just very grateful of having my wonderful boyfriend. He prepared everything for me and I'm just going to watch something on the TV while I have this meal. Also, I still have the heating on my kidneys because I had a lot of tension in this side today, so I'm still having this <laughs> scarf to make it you know, not fall down. So this weekend, me and Jorge are taking care of these gorgeous Oh my god, you're so beautiful. Hi. Hello, Elmes. Hi, how are you? Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys because he wants to play. Look at that. Oh my god, so good. So gorgeous, baby. So gorgeous, baby. Wanna play? <gasps> yes. Wanna play? You wanna play? Oh my god, his ears are so soft. You wanna play? <gasps> He's still trying to feel comfy here, and he keeps listening to every single noise. <laughs> hi! Hi! <gasps> hi! <gasps> oh my god, you made my day! Oh my god! Hi! Hello! Wanna play? Let's play! Oh, let's play! No, how happy! Let's play! Yes! Hi! 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 Good morning. It's the next day. Um, I'm feeling better regarding my urogenital tract infection. Uh, it's good. I, I don't feel any pain anymore. I spend a lot of time with a heating pad on my lower back, you know, like where the kidneys are, just because I suffered a lot of tension in that area yesterday. So I managed to get an appointment today at a quarter past five for my arm. I'm pretty sure they're just going to send me to a physiotherapist and um, I will have to do a couple of sessions but yeah, I will keep you posted to see what's happening with my arm because it really hurts like right now it's not it's not hurting like yesterday morning or the day before you know, like it was ugh, such a horrible pain but it's like, it's just like you feel, you can feel it it's, it's uncomfortable, you know, like it, it's there it's, it haven't started really, really Oh, deep but it's it's definitely there so every single Friday I have a PhD meeting um, so it's like a PhD student presents uh, their project and maybe we can like pop in and give him advice give him her <laughs> advices um, about what he can do or any or something like that um, but yeah it's normally the the PIs that get involved and ask all the questions but yeah that's the basic idea anyway today my colleague presents and I really want to be there for him um, so I already messaged him yeah and wished him good luck I'm just I'm not gonna I, I can't make it there because I'm feeling really really bad um, so yeah, um, uh, it starts at 9.30, I'm gonna get myself some coffee, I'm gonna get my vitamins into my body, drink water. Hey guys, I am currently getting ready to go to the doctor's appointment 
Um, I just arrived a while ago of taking the doggy out. He was very energetic um, and very nervous, so I really I didn't even feel so good. But I mean, I felt quite okay just to take him out for a bit and for him to distract. And also, I always think that walks make make you feel better. I mean, if you're like really, really sick with fever and all, no, but you know, like you're just not feeling your best self. Um, maybe having a walk could be in your routine for, you know, like the days when you wake up and it's just a really bad day. So, so yeah, I'm feeling more energetic and more positive after my walk and after seeing the doggy playing with other dogs and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm getting ready to go to the doctor so I'm wearing my sports clothes just because whenever I go to the doctor there's like muscle or injury injury related I always try to be as comfortable as possible just because I know they're they need to see and they need to touch and like move around and everything so by the way I really wanted to show you my nails can you see them so I went for round shaped um, instead of like square, which I like the ones you've seen before. What do you think? Do you, do you like them? Also, this one broke. Like, look at that. Ugh. By the way, I'm really happy with this deodorant. I don't know if you guys know from my previous videos, I have started my, you know, sustainable and ethical journey and I found this deodorant without any um, packaging, which is really good because it's no paper, it's no plastic and it's Oh, it smells really good. It's natural, handmade, and bought, you know, at a local place here. So I'm really happy. The next thing I would like to do it with cologne. So I want to finish the cologne that I already have, um, just because I don't like wasting and throwing stuff. Uh, plus, I think that it's worth <laughs> like throwing. Um, but yeah, next step is once I finish this colognes and this one this one is gonna be hard to give up because this is my favorite but um, yeah I will try to look for natural organic and like bought here hey guys so I just arrived from the doctor as you can see my hair is very very messy we have storm how do you say Eunice 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 I don't know we have a storm here, so it's very, very windy. Um, I was a tiny bit scared, but it's okay. Anyway, I went to the doctor. Um, good news is nothing serious with my arm. Um, he said that it's just like a um, huge contracture on the trapezoid muscle and the nerves are not damaged, so that's okay. So he sent me uh, 12 sessions. Uh, for the physiotherapist and he gave me a list of the ones that he recommends. This is really really good so I can have a look and see which ones you know I like and are near my home. I told him about my urine uh, about my urinary infection in, infection so in fact is what I thought the urinal tract infection. Um, so yeah he he thinks it's okay now because I told him like it has passed. Um, so he, he said that it's probably okay because I drank a lot of water and I drank a lot of liquids but just in case he thinks I should have this antibiotic which is a one-time thing and that's it just to make sure that I'm not going to it's not going to get like um, resistant and get worse um, to be honest I don't really like having these things because it just messes up with your probiotic and your inner health but I think I'm gonna have it just just in case I get worse. The plan for the rest of the video is to do a massive self-care and I am starting with more of the berries infusion and I'm going to go ahead and do some yoga.
really wanted to record my dinner time with you guys, uh, for you guys, but um, my boyfriend was practicing mindfulness while he was cooking and I really didn't want to make a lot of noise um, and then I just got carried away with the show that I was watching and also I was being with him so I didn't pick up the camera and record but um, we had pumpkin and cauliflower soup and a big salad and I'm gonna be a good patient and have my medicine Uh, the doctor really touched on the points that, you know, hurt. So right now my arm is like... <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to just put it for a little while. Um, I'm going to spend the rest of my night, actually, because what time it is? Um, it's a quarter past ten, so I'm going to end the video here. I'm just going to have a little bit of chocolate. I'm just going to relax, finish, I've got my tea here and yeah, I don't think I'm going to do, because today's a Friday by the way, I don't think I said that but today's a Friday and I don't think I'm going to do anything this weekend I just think I'm just going to let my body heal because this week has been super rough and I can totally feel my, my body is exhausted because it went through so much it's just what my body needs right now, you know, and I, I really hope that by this video you guys do the same for you and, you know, like, hopefully avoid what happened to me by last year <laughs> forgetting about myself. You know, even last year I took very, like, very seriously um, self-care, you know, and, like, not only taking baths but, like, listening to your body and seeing what is hurting. I normally, I did take that uh, like very seriously, but when I got super stressed because of the PhD committee, I just, I was completely aware that my arm was hurting. I just was postponing the fact of taking action towards it. So I really hope that by this video, you don't do that with any, anything going like bad or a negative sign or you know any other sign that there is something wrong or not going the way it should be um, and take action and try to figure it out what it is and I don't want this to feel like I'm talking about something super serious because fortunately mine is not serious it could have been because um, both this doctor and the osteopath that I went to Christmas told me like if you would have waited longer and you wouldn't have practiced yoga or just like kept your arm in no movement you would be facing way serious problems today and probably surgery that's what the osteopath told me in Christmas and I was like oh my god um, so yeah I guess that this video is just an example of why it is so important to take care of us and not like just self-care and baths which of course that's I love those practices because it's just a way of showing your body that you love it and it's also a way to to heal um, for instance me today in uh, the bath and then practicing my skin care it's a pr it's a moment for me of uh, loving my body and being grateful for my body fighting for me to be able to go on with my life every single day, you know, because it's because of how strong our bodies are that we're able to go through what we go through. So the moment of, of the bath was like a healing moment, uh, showing myself love and I think those practices are really, really important, but I am talking about listening to your body. Anyway guys, I'm going to end the video here. I really hope that you liked it. If you have any suggestions, any experiences, any opinions, just leave them down below in the comments. I would be very happy to read about them. And yeah, um, I really hope that you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!